Nga, nga, nga. Finger jab, finger jab. Oh, a wise guy. See that? Hit that. See that? Hit that. See that? Hit that. Oh, oh that was cool. I don't know how I did that. Cody Joe wins the match. He. Hey Mo! Get over here! Wow, man! I guess I got real lucky. <laughs> or maybe you were holding back on me. Nah, you wouldn't do that, would you? You don't look that bright. <laughs> I mean, that probably isn't your style. Wanna play again? Wanna play? Not now. Not now, thanks. Exit. Hey! Hey, you. Say, you look familiar. Didn't I kick your butt in a huge robot once? Oh, yeah, that. I hope to forget that. It was the beginning of my undoing. I was a laughing stock around the company in the final days of Scumsoft. Oh, well, if that hadn't gotten me, some of my other creative management techniques would have. In looking at the big picture, I suppose that arrangement left me with all my physical assets intact. Not a single other thing, unfortunately. I'm humiliated to admit that I have, on rare occasion, resorted to selling cheat sheets for arcade games. Ooh, cheat sheets. I've got to maintain a fairly uh, modest profile, I guess you could say. Time heals wounds and all that. Plus, maybe I can avoid a premature termination. Wow, that's all very interesting. And very boring, if you don't mind my saying. What I want to know is, can you sell me a cheat sheet for Stooge Fighter 3? <laughs> well, I think I may be able to facilitate that. I may have one in stock. Okay, here's what I need from you. A nice new bottle of cold sordian brandy. If you can deliver that, I think we can call it a deal. My people, I mean, I'll be waiting to take delivery from you so that we can put a bow <clears throat> on this deal. Catch you later. <laughs> All right, Consortium Brandy, right? This little flesh wad looks familiar. You wonder what he's doing here? Must have been a victim of the telecommunications wars. Ha <laughs> ha, telecommunications wars. <laughs> this is the interior of Bootlicker. In keeping with most of the rest of the area, there is absolutely no frills in the decor. A camera covers every square centimeter around the clerk just for security measures. It's amazing what kinds of crimes people will commit to get some of Pa's special stock. Hmm, special stock. Were it working this device, it, as noted on its top, would supply ice. A stack of papers lay unattended on the floor. Apparently, Pa doesn't get in a big hurry to put stuff away. The headline reads, Lindbergh Baby Kidnapped. Yeah, it's been there a while. Pa Conchohawken sits behind the counter by his favorite possession, something he values greater than his own life, the cash register. Pa's been in business for quite a while, as his grizzled look might attest. Hi there. Hi there. Howdy there, partner. The name's Pa. Pa Conchahawken. Yeah, it's my name. I'm the proprietor of this here establishment here. Now, anything I can sell you, why, you just let me know. Uh, but if you steal anything, uh, I'll be forced to kind of kill you. <laughs> Welcome. 
That uh, sounds fair. So, Pa, what's the stuff behind you? Oh, that, eh? Why, well, that there's the good stuff, sonny. I got some real fine stuff back here. Oh, yeah, I do. That's cold saurian brandy. That's what that is. Best available in these parts here. Now, it's way out of your price range, I'm sure. It what? goes for 20 buckazoids per. Is that all? I'd like a bottle of your cold saurian brandy, please. Well, so you're interested in the good stuff, eh? I'll just take that 20. Thank you. I haven't sold much of this stuff lately, except for some sorry-looking little pud. <laughs> oh, hey, that reminds me. He still owes me some money. No, oh, I can't believe I fell for that scam. Oh, well, enjoy. <laughs> Sucker. <laughs> uh, the good stuff's never actually the good stuff. How'd that bottle fit in the drawer? It's that cold saurian brandy Elmo wanted. Yuck! It has a fish floating in the bottom. Oh well, to each their own. A fish, huh? <laughs> Pull my finger. <laughs> All right, we gotta find Elmo. Where's Elmo? There's Elmo. Yes. Uh, oh, I mean, Mr. Wilco, I'm most pleased you've chosen to do business with us. You're just in time too. I have another party on his way, interested in the same item. Oh well, his loss. Well, I'll take that off your hands. Uh, now, per our agreement, here's your cheat sheet. I'm certain you'll find the game much more interesting now. Mm -hmm. Also, you look like you could use this fish. Is it a Bible fish? That's a big fish. Enjoy, Mr. Wilco. I have a real important business in another part of town. Be seeing you. Oh, by the way, I'd appreciate if you'd not mention our meeting to anyone. Some of those purple skulled old stockholders really hold a grudge, okay? Bye bye. Uh, bye bye. Okay. Uh, let's look at those cheat sheets. It's the Stooge Fighter 3 cheat sheet you got from Elbow. To guarantee a win, the cheat sheet says when at the choice screen, press the machine's letter buttons in the following order. A, B, B, A, C, A, C, A. Then, be aggressive and attack as much as possible using your new secret weapon. Uh-huh. It looks vaguely like your hiney after it's been chewed out by your boss. Tango and Cash, a sequel, finally. There's a faster way to the arcade. That's not it. I'm lost. I was just there. That. Yeah. It's a lot faster. Hi, Mr. Jerkwad. How about another game of Stooge Fighter? I'm feeling a little luckier this time. <laughs> you know, kid, I'd really like to, but I need a little more of a challenge. Take a long walk off a short asteroid, okay? What's the matter? Afraid a measly little pencil-necked low-life janitor and general waste of human life is going to embarrass you in front of your friends? Well said. Uh-huh. Hold on there, you little puke! I'm not afraid of some puny little zit on the butt of the universe! Exit. Jerkwad is a scaredy cat. Jerkwad is a scaredy cat. All right, you little wad of spit. Let's play. I'll waste you. Tell you what. <laughs> Let's make it interesting. If you win, I'll give you 300 buckazoids. However, Ooh. if I win, you're mine to do with as I see fit. Ooh. Deal. Indecent proposal. 
Oh, this is gonna be fun! Oh, <laughs> you're a bit puny, but I'm sure I'll be able to get a few buckazoids for you over at the slave colony. I'm sorry, I don't think I heard you quite right. Did you say, uh, slave colony? Too late to back out, Borg Breath. Haha, <laughs> Borg Breath. I knew that. Dude's Fada 3. Okay, so it's A, B, B, A, B, A, C, A. Nice. Let's get ready to rumble! Pushing the button, I'm pushing the button. to work. Claudio wins. That was a secret button. What the heck happened? Rumble. Oh, no. No, no, no. Oh, a wise guy. See that? Hit that. if I'm actually doing anything or not. Big O wins. You moited him. You moited him. Thank you. Rumble. No, no, no. That's the way the mini game is supposed to work. Him. How lucky can a guy get? That was pure luck. Yep, Just yes it was. Where's my money? Where's my money, man? Where's my money? You better give me my money. Here. Now if I were you, I'd make myself scarce, you little lump of phlegm. Otherwise, I'm gonna lose my temper, and all that's gonna be left of you is teeth and toenails! Yeah, okay. The D drop in. Uh, eyes. Those are some interesting looking dudes. Must be a couple of real losers, since they seem to be dateless. Of course, that won't be a problem for you once word gets around that you've hit the planet. Of course. Can you believe he actually thinks that? 
Ah, this place still has those old-style ray projection infomercial viewers. What rubes. <laughs> those are some interesting-looking dudes. Can you believe he... That's the manager of this little slice of heaven. He looks like he's an expert on energy conservation. Mainly his. He seems to be ignoring you. Well, you know what helps prevent people from ignoring you? Cash. Okay, son, you just scribble your old Bill Shatner on the register screen and I'll get your key card. It's as fine a room as you'll find on this orb. You have a brief moment of what you think is cleverness. You decide to wittily sign the name Franzel Niekberg. Hmm. Okay, here's your key card. Don't lose it. Room 1220J. Up the elevator. Franzel Niekberg. If I had a buckazoid for every time I'd seen that name, I'd be sitting pretty. I could afford one of those fancy fur-lined donut thingies that... But, uh, what was I saying? Anyway, enjoy your stay. If you need anything, don't hesitate to tell someone. Gee, thanks. Say, could you tell me where... I'm a real busy guy, son. You got any questions, why don't you just go find the Chamber of Commerce and talk to them. I'm sure they'll be glad to help you out. Be seeing ya. Hmm. It's the key card to your luxurious suite at the charming Dew Beam Inn. The room number is 1220J. Okay. Hopefully we can use that room for the rest of the game. Oh, what the heck was that? Oh, he's a, a, a cat killing mice. Great carpet. This is definitely no place to lose a contact lens. I click on the mouse. What can be said that isn't painfully obvious? Yeah, okay. All right, here's... Boy, wouldn't it be cool if that really worked? Come on now, do I actually have to do that? And swipe the card. Just as you are about to insert the key card so you can go inside and check out your new digs, you notice those two goony looking dudes from the lobby walking in your direction at a rather deliberate pace. Perhaps they're going to welcome you to the place or show you where the ice machine is. Or... Hey there, pal. Got a second? Me and my friend here was wondering something. Fire away. What did you want to know? Well, we was wondering if you'd have any objection to us pounding you senseless. Grab them and let's get moving. I got a report in soon. You puny little scumbag. I can't believe anyone would want you. One thing's for sure, you sure ain't gonna be seeing your home son ever again. Hey, Nigel, let's get back to it, huh? We got things to do and places to go. Now, just sit there and be still and be quiet, little man. I've got some things to finish before I finish you. Uh-huh. That's a good place to leave the key. 